Well, in today's episode, we have a matchup in the Europa League against Shakhtar. We're playing both of those matches, and hey, if we win, we get to see who we're playing in the second knockout round. Let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Well, that's right, my dudes. Totally forgot about it again. We're in the Europa League. First knockout round. We got Shakhtar today. We're playing both of those matches on screen. We got a lone one match in between that I'm going to play. Hopefully we beat them this time. As you guys know, they've been a very pesky side to us. We do have some injuries to note and some decent sized injuries on some players that we use a lot. I mean, like they're not long-term injuries, but they are a little bit of like a, hey, they might be out one to two matches type of injury. We got Mendez. He is out eight days to two weeks with sprained ankle ligaments. Uh, Richter damaged his heel out three to 10 days. Rodriguez should be back for the second match for sure. He just has a virus. And Milankovic, he has a, 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 he ripped his cock off. He's got one to four days on that. Should be coming back pretty soon for the first, for the second match. I do apologize. As I mentioned, Shakhtar, we're playing them. They look to be a pretty good side. We'll take a, like just a, a really brief look at them. Their key, key player, he's, he's, he's all right, isn't he? He's all right. So they, they, they're going to be a tough side for us. Definitely going to be a tough side for us. I know right now uh, there's going to be at least three more episodes of KV Mecklen. This comes out on Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, right? What day is today? The 6th. So uh, I'm really confused. I am totally, yeah, I'm wrong. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday left on this. So that means the Journeyman will not be coming out on the initial release date. It will start probably, I'm honestly thinking the following week. So maybe the Journeyman will release on the 15th is what I'm looking at. And then we'll carry the beta through the third, the beta save through the third season on that. And then we'll pick up the save that's going to be really similar to this save that's taking place in the Netherlands. So we do have some interesting stuff coming up in the channel. Just give you a little bit of a heads up on that. So the journeyman will not start the day this the, the initial release. It will start the following Monday, I'm believing, on the 15th. Should be pretty good. And then the other series will start shortly after that. But let's take a look at where we last left off. We played Gink in the Belgium Cup. Then we went out and beat Antwerp 1-0. Bellini gets a goal. We draw against Upin 1-1. Bellotti gets a goal. They equalize with a pin in the 42nd minute. Then we win 3-1. Molina gets a brace. Bellotti gets a goal on that one. Korchev, they're like Lomel. They're just a pesky side to us. We lose this match 2-1. Molina gets the only goal in that match. And that's where we last left. We love them. That is where we last left off. But determining today, uh, the this save may have more than three episodes left, including today's, because we want to do the Europa League stuff, right? So until we get knocked out of that, we want to do the season end, the league end, see where we finish at because it's a close season. And then uh, we want to do the Belgium Cup final on screen. So, yeah, it's it's still – there's still some episodes left in this series, unfortunately. I, I was hoping it would be done by now. I really was. I, I did stretch it a little bit too long, I think, though, with the amount of time that we had left. Let's get into this match, though. I don't think I've actually picked a team, have we? Hadn't picked it. Richter's still in there. So they want to play Fabi on the left. I'm not sure I agree with that. With the injury to Mendez, we've also called up Nimchek. You might guys right might, might remember him. He's a right back option that we have. It's a two and a half star player, five star potential. He's actually a really good player. Uh, I just don't like his work rate. That's really yeah. He's he's one of the few people that has a really low work rate on this team. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to do that instead. I think we do that instead as well. That instead as well. I like that a lot. We got Cook and Goal back for Fontana, Norman Williamson, Anderson, and Dacey in the midfield. We're called Essa Hall and Hart. Right hand side, Hedden. Left hand side for Ari. Up, up, Molina. That's right. We changed the tactics as well. He's getting overrun in the midfield again. So we've dropped Essa Hall back into a more central role. Uh, same role, really. Just seeing if he can do a little bit more there and help out with the defense. Just a little bit more, kind of securing that up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this one, my dudes. I really don't. They, they look pretty good. I did take a look at their team, and it's. Uh, I feel like it's going to be close. Like, I feel like they're, obviously, their Shakhtar's a good team, but uh, I feel like they would rank pretty high in our league as well. 
You know, like it, it feels like it, they're pretty close to being like a top three team in our league. I feel like we could we we can beat them, but I also feel like hey, we could get beat both times in this. What we're not going to hope for. I noticed that their key player is not playing. Interesting. Go ahead and skip it. We don't have it on key high, or we don't have it on extended highlights. So let's go ahead and do that and get this opening highlight underway. It's not going to be much. We know that, guys. We know it's not going to. It's going to be, you know, it's going to work its way into the uh, into our half, and it's going to it's going to end. That's what it usually goes for us. Let's get it though. Let's get this ball back. Good stop by Fontana. There's the end of the highlight. I'm waiting for it. Okay, ten minutes have passed. Still nil nil. Been a lot of us though. A lot of us. There's been quite a few highlights. Uh, they haven't really amounted to anything, but it has been more toward our been more geared toward our side than than Shakhtar, which is good news. Let's go. Keep it up. Drop some encouragement on the guys. I believe honestly, see if that helps out a little bit. Helps out everybody. But recall though, throw in for the good guys. Do we get our first here? I mean, I would like to make it far in the, in the Europa League this season. I mean, we got knocked out of the Champions League really soon, so let's see what we can do in the Europa League, right? Hedden takes a corner here, looking for Anderson. We put Anderson in the lineup because of those situations right there. He's so good from corners for us. And uh, doesn't get one in there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We've got the rare Shakhtar highlight. It turns... Hey, 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 my dudes, it's okay. It turns into a KV Mecklen highlight. Molina playing out wide, gets it to Essa Hall. Oh, I thought we had one there. Thought we had one there. That was a good block by the defender because that looked like a goal, didn't it, my dudes? Come on, let's go. Let's get it. Get the first one. That way we can we can breathe a little bit easy. We want to keep a clean sheet today, not to allow the away goal. Jorn Hedden, fourth of the season. Rob Hart on the assist. 1-0. Right before halftime. Let's go. Jorn Hedden. Hey, go ahead. Give him a round of applause. We've never done anything about that empty section on this save, unfortunately, did we? A lot of lost money sitting right there. Maybe FM22 would get us a stadium built and named after us. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Okay, so it was, it was a tie. I was wondering if it was a tied off sides. It, it's, it's pretty dang close, wasn't it? But hey, ultimately results in one nil with us going into halftime with the one nil lead. We got one minute of added time. We've absolutely dominated this match. Look at the match stats. We got thirteen shots. Unless it's changed, we got thirteen shots. Five on target. Next you have one point five. Jack Tar hasn't amounted to anything. Not even a shot. Jordan Hedden has the goal in the forty second minute. Good freaking stuff. Let's go. Let's win this in the second half. Keep it up, my dudes. We got the opening highlight here for the second half. Are going to be any more sirens in the background? We have the rare Shakhtar highlight, but hey, let's get this ball back and get our second. Anderson says, okay, I got you, boss. Let's do this. Molina on a run. 13th of the season for him. Ari on the assist to Neil. Hey, doesn't get much better than this, my dudes. Good stuff here. Anderson starts us off by winning the head there. Ricalde plays it out to Farah, who meets Molina on a run. Molina had a tough finish there. Really surprised he found the back of the net, especially with the spot he picked out. Good stuff, 2-0. Let's go. Let's get our third on this one. Come on. Come on. We want to just go ahead and finish this off. We, we don't have to, want to have to worry about the second. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Jorn head. Fontana on the assist, 3-0. Guys, you know... You just, if you're, I don't know how you like watch these videos. If you watch them on laptops, if you watch them on your computer, if you watch them on your TV, whatever you're doing, just kick back and relax. It's over, baby. We got it. It is over. Three nil. There we go. You know, I'm hopping up the side with this up three nil. That was not on the save. That was on Daegu FC. Hey, shameless plug. The save's ended, but if you haven't watched Daegu FC, go check it out. I was about to say we gave up a 3-0 lead, but that was in Daegu that we gave up a 3-0 lead and uh, ended up with a draw in that match. But hey, like I said, shameless plug. Go check it out. It's, it, was, it was a fun save. It was tough. Not a lot of money. If you like people that, that are struggling with finances in FM, go to South Korea. That, that's a fun one. This kid right here, he's killing it today. Jorn Hedden. Farah is killing it as well. Has he been on every one of these goals? Like his, It feels like he has assisted everybody. 
so far. Has he had a four or three assists? He's got either three or four for sure, I know. Seems like him and uh, Hedden have linked up a couple of times. I didn't even see this goal, to be honest with you. Hey, guys. Looks like there's going to be another episode of the uh, of uh, uh, KV Mecklen. Looks like there's going to be four episodes still to go, including this one. Well, we've made all three changes. We've brought in, I'm looking at the bottom, Gasson comes on for Essa Hall. Luke, Lukaku comes on for Dacey, and Adore comes on for Norman Williamson. Those three guys that we brought on, all are not really, well, Gasson's fit, but the other two, they're not really fit, so we want to go ahead and bring them two into the match, see if we can get some match fitness build up for them. I mean, we're, we're going to need those guys. We play Lukaku on occasion, so we need him to be fit. The match is closing down. Looks like we're going to keep the clean sheet. And, and it looks like we're going to win this one 4 0 on aggregate. Let's freaking go, my dudes. We got this next round. Melina, he said, hey, boss, you know, I really wanted to make it 5 0, but I was offsides. We finally allowed a shot from Shakhtar. They had one shot this entire match so far. Uh, corner upcoming heading. He's looked good. Does he find an, find Anderson here? Hits it off the crossbar, and it's out for a throw in and probably then to the highlight, honestly. Keep it up. Do we win the ball? Do we keep it? Do we keep it? Recalde brings it down. Gasan. Lukaku, he ain't getting to that. Goodness gracious. Gasan putting a little bit too much mustard on that, and Lukaku can't catch up to it. Okay, I'm ready for the match then. Ready for this. This closing highlight's been a bit of a doozy. It's been a long one, hasn't it? Go ahead and uh, fast forward about 30 seconds, game. You know, we can... Okay. Okay, it's, it's still going. Lukaku with it. Faro with it. He's. I, I was a little bit overzealous. He's got two assists, okay? I do apologize. I, it seems like he's been on every one of them so far, though, doesn't it? Adora wins that one for us, and there's the full-time whistle. We get out 4 Neil, which is huge for the next match because, hey, we got a 4 nil lead on aggregate, and we didn't allow a away goal. Jordan Hedden, 10.0. Let's go. Good stuff here. We allowed one shot. Uh, we had 23-9 on target HD of 2.68. Just dominated the team, really. Outstretched arms, pleased with the result and your performance, and let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and guess that Hedden was the man of the match for this one. What do you guys think? I believe so. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're, we're having to defend off offers for Dacey. And, and before we get into this bit right here, we've had to defend off offers for quite a few people like Dylan Dacey, um, Rob Hart. There's been a couple other ones that I'm trying to think of off the top of my head. Uh, Richter's been one of them, but they, they haven't been really crazy because he hasn't wanted to leave the club. But Dacey and Hart have wanted to leave the club to join other clubs. Uh, mainly, Dacey wants to go to China which I'm, I'm fine letting him go. Like I said, I want to play this save after I get done recording it on YouTube. Like I want it to continue for my, myself as a private save. But I'm okay selling him, but it's these offers that are non-negotiable. It's like, you know, 17 mil with the installments, the, the added on, hey, if we sell this player, you get 20%. It's that kind of offer for both of those players. Obviously, Rob Hartz is a little bit more and I would I would sell both of them if you came in for the right money and, and was it non-negotiable like that where I can actually try to build up my offer, my counter offer back to them, but it's it's not worked out for us. And uh honestly, it's probably good for YouTube because we want to keep these guys through the end of the save at least, because well, if we have them, that means the chances of us winning the league they're a little bit higher. But as we mentioned, Jordan Hedden, he was the man of the match with the three shots, ten rating. Looking good. And Dylan Dacey, speaking of him, happy to stay. Well, with the second match, we've done a little bit of squad rotation because, well, we're up 4 0 on aggregate. We got Cook and Goal, a back four of Fontaine and Norman Williamson, Van Erden and Lukaku in the midfield, Recalde. Essa Hall. And making his return to the senior squad, my boy, it's Courage. Right hand side, we got Bilotti. Left hand side, Ferrari comes up in the starting lineup. And up top, Abby's giving Molina a little bit of a break. Uh, we, we've brought Courage back up mainly because we don't have a player like him now on the senior squad but outside of Rob Hart that can play that box to box and I feel really comfortable playing him uh, the guy that we've also brought up Vicek he's more of a playmaking midfield player so uh, he's kind of a backup to Essa Hall and honestly I kind of want to put him on the bench today but we're not going to we got Sam Rick as well that can play in that spot I want him to play a little bit he hasn't played much this season and uh, yeah let's get it on let's get this match underway we haven't we haven't officially moved on 
but I feel pretty dang comfortable that we're moving on. So, hey, there's another episode added to this save that we're going to have to get done. I mean, the episodes are piling up, ain't they? We've got a, a Belgium Cup final. We want to do the league end, uh, see where we sit, finish at, and we want to play every one of these Europa League matchups. It's going to be intense. Going to be intense. I'm ready to see how it goes. I'm ready to get the journeyman started. It's going to be a good time. I, I have no idea. That's the good thing about the journeyman. It's like you don't have any idea what's going to happen until you fire it up for the first time and start it up and get the job interviews going. I'm really interested to see how that's changed this season. I have heard there is one change to the interview process, and I'm excited about it. So it should be a pretty big thing for journeymans. It's going to help out those kind of saves. Hopefully we'll get to see it in the first episode. Fabby here. He plays it to our boy Courage. Essa Hall now has it. That was a weird one, wasn't it? Throw in here near the corner flag. Tries to get it into Bellotti, but can't quite find him. Fontaine now working it in the box. He was looking for Ari on a run and couldn't quite find him. Courage now playing it to Fabby. Fabby turns. He shoots and just he's just a little bit, a little bit outside. It's a throw in for us. Fontana finds Essa Hall. It's a back to Fontana. We're playing out of our half. Do we go ahead and get our first one here? I have changed up the tactic a little bit for this match. Uh, honestly, I just did the changes. We went balanced. Turn time wasting already on, to be honest with you. And uh, we're slowing the pace down on our goalkeeper distribution as well, just to try making this match a little bit quicker than what they sometimes are. Because when we're up 4-0 on aggregate, I'm good with that. Shakhtar has a highlight that we take away. Pretty easily. Fontaine and now to Bilotti. Right hand side has been seems like what we've worked the most against on Shakhtar. I'm not 100 percent sure if we've had if we've if the team's found a weakness there or what, but it does seem like that's been the the goal of the squad so far. We got a highlight here, Shakhtar playing it out of the back here. Do we get a counterattack going and turn it into five nil? I'm not sure. But it would be nice. It'd be nice from the side to go ahead and do that. You know. We win the ball here. Courage doing that for us. He plays it back to Lukaku, who's got Van Erden. Back to Ferrari. Okay, we've got Bilotti on a run. Is he onside? The flag stays down momentarily. I guess it... I, I didn't see the goal. I was honestly looking at the ref on the side to see if the flag went up. Lukaku to throw this ball in. The Courage now works it to Fabby. Fabby, the flag goes up. It's okay. We don't need 5 0 on aggregate. We'll take 4 0, but it would be nice. He was offsides. How far was it? Do we have that? Can I see that? I would like to see it. I mean, yeah, but close. Okay, we've got a uh, free kick here to take. Fabby tries to get it to Van Erden, who gets it to 5 0. Second of the season for Van Erden. Fabby on the assist. Good stuff. What you love to see. Uh, Van Erden also, he's up for like a, an actual continental award. I can't remember which one. Uh, but yeah, one of them. He's one of like five people. Really cool. <laughs> I've debated, honestly, because we've got like three really good center backs, don't we? Like Norman Williamson, Van Erden, and uh, Anderson are just they're great center backs right now for us. I've honestly thought about trying to make a, a – making a, a tactic where we use utilize a back three instead of the back four like we do now, uh, just to get all three of them on the pitch because they're so good for us. I mean, could you imagine that from corners? Just those three guys just all the time just dominating. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Okay, okay. We, we still got a four-goal lead on that. Okay, it's fine. Fine. Okay, no big deal. Jack Tarr is playing a little bit better in this match. We're playing a little bit slower in this match. It's okay. No big deal, guys. All right, we got two minutes of added time before we get to the halftime whistle. Do we try to get a second here now? I mean, Fontana with it. Plays it back to recall day. Uh-huh. Tries to get it into Fabi, I believe that was, and, and couldn't quite find him. Courage plays it to Ferrari. Who, man, could have played that back out a little bit, couldn't you, bud? So I've noticed that we're starting to show some complacency out there already. Cook is complacent. Lukaku's complacent. Uh, and Ricalde, 
I'm going to guess is aggressive. Yeah, he is. Uh, we're going to, we're going to see what happens because we can make changes if Lukaku and uh, obviously I'm not going to make a change with Cook, but if Lukaku can start becoming complacent again, he's been complacent for most of the match. We will make that change. I just I would prefer not to have to make that change. I want him to get out there and play a full 90 minutes. Let Daisy have the break. We may have to coach him a little bit. Keep their mentalness mentalness. That's that's not a word. Keep their mental. Uh, I don't know how to describe that. Keep their mental, their mentality. Hey, hey, we worked through it. You watched it work. We worked through it. Keep, we might have to coach their mentality up throughout the rest of the match, though. Throw in for our guys, Lukaku. He got, he's got Van Erden here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, nice. Just take it easy. We don't have to run. We don't have to. We don't have to turn up high tempo. It's totally fine, guys. We can just play. Defensively sound football, you know, play. We, we, we could honestly start parking the bus a little bit, lowering the lines a little bit. I would be perfectly fine with doing that, especially when we get to our first set of changes. That, that'll probably be when we make that change. Not quite yet, but close, close to it. Okay, uh, hey guys, uh, do a football here. Do a football. Hey, hey, they just almost went up on us. Uh, a little bit too soon. Okay, we got a three goal lead on aggregate. Fine, fine, guys. That's why we worked so hard in that first match. Not nervous at all. I'm not worried. Kind of worried. Okay, corner kick upcoming. We're about to be a little bit hard on the guys. They're not playing great. Granted, this is a rotated side, but I'm feeling like screaming some anger at them. Courage does a great job just winning that for us. I'm really close to lowering the lines at this point a little bit just to see if we can park the bus against them. Fontana tries to win us a corner there, doesn't pull it off, actually turns the ball over, and now it's a check tar highlight, but Van Erden's there to pick that up. Norman Williamson now in possession, back to Van Erden, working it down that left-hand side for R, who crosses all the way over to Bilotti. Fabby, Fabby. Can't get it in. Gives up the corner, but he does a really good job stopping that. Now we can't shut off here. We've got to defend him. We've got to clear our lines, get this ball back in our possession. And we do exactly that. And now it's our turn. Hit him with a little bit of the speed. Hit him with a little bit of the razzle. Dazzle. That wasn't the razzle dazzle. That was just the, the bounce it off a defender and it goes out. Well, two changes have been made. Sam Rett comes in for Essa Hall. And Rodriguez comes in for Fabi. Fabi was having a really good game. I get that. But I want to bring in Rodriguez to get him fit again. As you guys know, we've seen earlier, he had a little bit of a sickness hit him. I think he had the sickness, didn't he? He got sick, I believe. But uh, we want to get him fit again because he is a, he's, a, he's an important player to this team, and we need him to get going for us. And uh, looking at the final change, I'm really considering taking out Recall Day. I'm really considering it. I just haven't quite pulled it. I hadn't, I hadn't talked myself into it. Ferrari with a poor attempt right there to hang on to that. Sam Rick, who was a savior one of these seasons at the very end, takes a shot there. It goes out for a corner. Where we haven't really done much today, have we? Lottie sends that in. He's trying to get it to Rodriguez. Doesn't quite find him. Now we've got the defending to do. We've got to get back. You got to get a tackle in and win this ball back because... Yeah, it seems like complacency has been an issue in this match, hasn't it? Courage with a hard tackle. Hey, hey, he showed the courage even trying that, didn't he? I opted to bring Hedden into the match up for uh, Bilotti, just mainly because of fitness. Bilotti was getting tired out there. Him and Courage both are, are pretty tired, so we wanted to make one of those changes, make sure we stay. We, ha we have some attackers that can keep on going. We have a corner here near the end of the match that was, a pr that was sent in pretty nicely, I felt like. And and I'm happy with how I feel like okay we've done a good job there I feel like I felt like the the uh, overall shape of what we was trying to do there was very nice and it ended up working out for us because we win the ball back and now we're trying to get a counter of our own headings taken down they haven't been calling them in the box today it still maintains that way now Shakhtar looking to make it three one three five on aggregate wow this has been an intense set of matches against this side and there's the full time whistle two one. But 5-2 on aggregate. So Van Erden, 7.5 was our best performer. 
And you can say they got a little bit lucky in this one. Looking at the overall shots in XG, we had 19, 8 on target, 2.31 XG compared to 6 shots for Shakhtar. 3 on target in XG of 0.58. So we're just when you thought the episode was over. We hit a little bit of a razzle-dazzle of our own. It's not. We've got a draw for the second knockout round to figure out who we're playing next in the Europa League and probably in the next episode. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, get it underway. Leverkusen could be fun. Okay, Rangers for them. We'll get it off early, baby. I mean... I, don't, I really don't know who I want to play. I really don't know. I want to begin some leads. Now that could be very interesting. I do believe that they're going to be the better side and ultimately knock us out of the Europa League, but I feel like we actually got an opportunity against them. Wow. What a great episode. Move on to the second knockout round where we're playing Leeds in the next match. Next match. Next episode. Be sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this one, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.